When I press this button, a new era in photography begins. Polaroid introduces sonar automatic focusing. This camera sends out inaudible sound waves that bounce off the subject and return in a split second. You can get a precisely focused picture every time in minutes at the touch of one button. The kind of photography that would become part of the human being. Press a button and have the picture. Welcome to In an Instant, my name is Ben, and today's Instant Breakdown examines the spectacular invention of sonar autofocus in the original Polaroid cameras. Polaroid is a company founded on the fundamental principle of creative innovation, being smart and doing smart things. The incredible science that produces these square prints is one of the most complex chemical processes ever built into a consumer product. So, it's no surprise that Edmund Land, who took almost impossible ideas and started turning them into practical, mass-produced products right out of college, also developed one of the first autofocus systems built into a camera. When I was right out of college, all I developed was like a crippling addiction to Gruyere cheese. Such an earthy, complex cheese. Really complex profile, really good cheese. As described in our little commercial remake, the sonar system sends out an ultrasonic ping from the plate to the center point of the frame and bounces it back instantly to inform the lens motor where to focus. What makes it even more incredible is that Polaroid first released this in 1978, grafted onto SX-70s. Only one other autofocus camera of any kind existed on the market, which came only a few months earlier, and that focused by detecting the contrast of images. Non-Polaroid SLRs didn't even get autofocus for another three years after the SX-70, so this was truly groundbreaking stuff. Sonar AF has some huge benefits over other focusing systems, and it can even do things that modern digital cameras with way more tech inside can do. Because it's sending out a sonic chirp, sonar works regardless of lighting situations. In the pitch black, a digital camera has no idea where to focus because it can't see anything. That doesn't matter with sonar because it's sending and receiving a signal through physical space. It works in the dark, it works with crazy backlighting, and it can even enable focusing in situations where manual focus would be next to impossible. It does have a few shortcomings, like a couple. All right, I'll tell you. For example, let's say you're taking a picture of something through a glass window. Sonar focusing isn't actually evaluating the image, so it sends the chirp, it bounces off the glass instead of the subject, and doesn't focus the motor where you intended. But honestly, how often are you taking pictures through windows? A little creep. Really, any physical obstruction in front of what you're shooting could cause the signal to bounce off the wrong thing and report the wrong focusing distance. This isn't a big deal on the SX-70, the SLR-680, or some of the Spectra cameras because you can half press the focus and see if that hit where you wanted. Then you can manually go from there. But on other AF models like the 660, the Impulse, the One Step, you are just smashing that shutter button and trusting all goes well. Very trusting of you, indeed. Contrast and phase detection ended up being the primary path to the future for autofocus and cameras, but the fact that you can still get this functionality out of a Polaroid is amazing. Polaroid's seemingly simple products grew to such massive commercial popularity in the 80s and 90s that it's often easy to forget the level of genius and innovation that went into everything Edwin Land developed. When Polaroid devolved in the late 90s and early 2000s, then ultimately collapsed, it had already long lost that revolutionary spirit. That's what makes Polaroid original so special. The folks at the Impossible Project took the lost science of Polaroid film and built it up again through years of trial and error, sacrifice, and creativity. The fact that this is once again associated with the Polaroid brand is huge. And with the i1 and One Step 2, they're back in the hardware game. Innovating film photography sounds like an oxymoron for sure, and instant film is now a hobby rather than a mass use photography system, but I would love to see the folks at Polaroid Originals tackle something like Sonar AF again. Last year, Fuji released the Lee Play, or I play. It's a bad name because I personally can't pronounce it, so that makes it bad. Um, it's a digital hybrid camera that uses autofocus and prints Instax minis, but that's essentially a digital camera with a built-in instant film printer. I fear that's where Fuji's ultimately headed with like their entire product line. I really hope they prove me wrong about that, because that would be like not chill. 
But when the Impossible Project smashed on the scene, they actually did release a camera with autofocus. The aforementioned controversial i1, which uses infrared to focus the lens, kind of a baby brother of Sonar AF. And here's a little nugget. When Polaroid discontinued Spectrafilm in late 2019, the resulting flurry of anger elicited a Facebook comment of all things from Polaroid CEO Oscar Smolikowski, in which he addressed that essentially killing off the usefulness of Spectra cameras left a huge hole in the Polaroid camera line. He cited the 10 zone autofocus and superior quality as something Polaroid Originals hopes to address to fill that void. But a new camera of that caliber will take until 2021 to see the light of day. Maybe they'll innovate once again. And who better than the proud brand that started it all? Thank you for watching in an instant. Go ahead and put a fist through that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more reviews, breakdowns, and all things instant. Bye. Bye.